front we'll go over you got the l85 l85 which is the loader which means it can go 85 inches in the air the bucket will lift up to 85 inches and um while we're talking about it this bucket can lift up to full height 1380 pounds on a 25 horsepower tractor that is fantastic i've had the opportunity to try this a little bit and uh it's been working just wonderful for me now on the front here you get standard with the skid steer attach quick attach on the front so you would just pull these handles up like that and as you can see down here in the bottom this comes up out of the bottom there and you would do the same thing on the other side and then you would literally set your bucket down and back out and it will come out from underneath this ledge here then you can hook it to any skid steer attach you just push these back down once you get up underneath of it and then like a set of pallet forks and i'm telling you my set of pallet forks has done wonders for me um i've moved brush piles i've picked up pallets i uh, take the trash out things of that nature and it's done really well for me um, but having this standard option on the front is wonderful Now, if you wanted to remove this loader, you have right here, you have this stand and you would remove this little butt, this little um, pin right here. You take that out like that, pull that down, pull this all the way down and there's another one on the other side. You put your pin back in and then it forms basically a tripod with the front bucket. And then you would be able to, give me just a second, I'll show you what you would do after that. And I'll get into more detailed videos with this later. Um, but for now, I'm just kind of showing you what it is. So you have this right here, and on the back side, you have a little pin. So you pull that pin out, take this out. Once you set your front bucket and the legs down, and basically you're going to use the hydraulics to lift up off of this cradle right here. And that would basically allow you to back out. So you would just pull the tractor backwards. And of course you want to, we haven't got around there yet, um, but you would just remove your quick disconnect hydraulics right here. And that's how you would uh, remove the front loader. So also on this front loader, it's coming standard with this right here. This is called your bucket level indicator. And so you can see right here, it goes up to an arc there and back down. When this arc right here gets into this 
little piece right here, when it's flush right there, that means that your bucket in the front should be level to the ground. So that is a very handy tool when you're doing some loader work. So now we're on the other side of the loader and you can see the L85 here. And this is what I was just telling you about the quick disconnects, which are attached right here to the loader with a couple bolts. And this bottom piece actually stays with the loader frame, which is attached down here, okay? So that allows you to keep the bottom half attached to the tractor, but the, the top hydraulic hoses will actually go with the tractor itself. Whenever you are operating machinery, you should always make sure that your all of your nuts and bolts are good and tight. Um, over here on this side, as we just talked about the loader and removing the loader and all that type of stuff, you have right here, maybe I'll stand up here so you can kind of see where we're at. So you got your front bucket here and then you've got the loader arm comes down into a cradle right here onto this piece right here which attaches to the actual frame of the tractor. Now, these bolts right here, 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 and even on the brush guard in the front here, you wanna make sure that these bolts stay good and tight. Um, you can look at the compressed lock washer, but these bolts, as you use your front loader bucket, they're just like any other nut and bolt that gets twisted and turned and puts pressure here and there. You wanna make sure, even this bolt back here on the back of the frame, the back frame there, you wanna make sure that those will stay tight. So you're always checking those. I did miss one thing here, silly me. This is gonna change really soon for me. This right here, I really like where it's at, but this is your control lever for your front loader bucket. If you look right here, you got your armrest, which is really nice. And then if you were to rest your arm on here and you're sitting on the tractor, your hand naturally falls on this. So I really like the position of that, where it's at. Right here, you have, of course, forward, lowers it down, backwards, raises it up, side to side, is going to curl your bucket. Right here, you just press this little thing in, and it actually is a lockout. And if you just pull it back out, it gives you full function of the loader arms. As I said just a moment ago, mine's going to be changing a little bit because... I ordered a third function valve for mine. Hopefully it will be here soon. I can get that thing installed and there will be a button up here. I'll have to change this out, I'm assuming. I'll have to change this arm out with a third function button that will allow me to operate maybe a grapple or something of that nature um, that needs hydraulic fluid run through uh, with hydraulic pressure. So there it is, and now you have it, folks. There's really nothing to it, and anyone can do it. A closer look at the RK25 and the loader on that machine. As always, we really appreciate you watching our videos. We hope that you got some more information out of it. Please like and subscribe for more videos and supporting our channel. We hope to see you on the next episode here at Gathering Rust Hobby Farm.